Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn Still Got the Blues, the legendary song by the legendary Gary Moore. First, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, with tabs right here on the screen, as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so put on D minor, your open position, run of the mill, regular, beginner, D minor. So many adjectives. And before you play D minor, check out the free three hour guitar workshop that I've prepared especially as a gift from me to you, my beloved Lick and Riffers. Go to lickandriff.com right now, there's a free guitar workshop waiting especially for you. So. D minor and um, this arrangement is a complex one but it's also a pretty straightforward one it's a pretty simple arrangement all things considered even though it has many 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 chords in it because almost everything is inside the chords almost everything Hey, that's the beauty of a good composition, and Gary Moore was a spectacular musician. So, you play D minor, and you just arpeggiate it. Okay? It's strings 3, 2, and then 0 and 1 on the first string. Okay? And when you play 1 on the first string, you play the whole chord. Okay? Or just the bass. Okay? Whatever you want. Okay? And then you have one zero on the first string, three on the second string, okay? and when you play three on the second string, it's G. It's a G chord. It's the next chord. Okay? So you just play G with three on the second string. Okay? You don't even have to play the first string. And then it's one, three on the second string. You can hammer it on. Okay? And then you have the open E string. Okay, you can play it as a syncopation, you can do and then play the chord, okay, which is C major 7, so it's C with the open 2nd string, okay, so G, okay, or you can play the open E string with the C chord, okay, with the C major 7, so, okay, okay, syncopation always 
brings music into life, especially on a solo instrument. So, and then one zero on the first string, three on the second string, and then you have F major seven. Okay? With the one on the second string being your melody. So, okay, one pull off to zero on the first, three on the second, and then you have F major seven. F with the open E string. Okay? So, okay, and then you have two on the third, it's inside the chord, and then you hammer on the one on the first string, okay, the one is inside the chord, so you hammer it back on. And then you have B half diminished or minor seven flat five. And then, okay, three one on the second string into E, just an E chord. Okay, the melody note is the second string. Okay, just the open second string. And then, okay, two zero on the third string or Okay, if you want to bend, you play two on the third string and five on the fourth and you bend it. Okay, um, if you want to keep the original bluesy feel. So, okay, two zero, two on the third string into A minor or two, five on the fourth, two again on the third. Okay, and then you have a bass line. You have B, C, okay. Okay. It's uh, just zero, two, three on the fifth string, okay? and you stay on A minor. Okay. And then you have okay, you have G over B, okay? which is three on the second string and two on the fifth, and zero and zero in between, okay, on strings G and D. But three on the second string is already the melody note. Okay, because you're back to D minor. Okay, again, zero and one on the first string. So, okay, and then <clears throat> you have um, okay, one hammer on to three zero on the first, okay, on the E string, and then you play the G bass, and then three on the second string. Okay, okay, solo. Bass, G, and the chord. And then C major 7 and F major 7, same thing. Okay, and you can add one hammer on to three, one on the, um, on the second string when you're on F major 7. So the rest is exactly the same. Okay, and you don't have that A, B, C, G over B um, line at the end. You just end on A minor. Okay, so B um, have diminished, minor 7 flat 5, E, okay, or that's the solo. The verse starts with D minor 7. So D minor seven is one one two. Okay, it's an F chord with the open D string. Okay, that's uh, D minor seven, and the melody is pretty easy. It's in the chord. It's uh, you start, you know, with the D string, and then you play strings two 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 three, and then you have one three on the second string into a G chord. Okay, so you have one again on the second G bass, and then three on the second string. And then you have C major seven. Okay, it's the open E string twice, three on the second string. And then you have F major seven with one hammer on to three, one on the second string. Okay, so it's. And then you have the B um, minor seven flat five, just the second string. That's the melody, so you can play the whole chord. And then you have one on the second string. And then you have E7. 
Okay, that's E with three on the second string. So you play the three on the second string, okay? So it's Okay, one on the second string and then E7. Okay, so the melody is three on the second string, open first, okay? Then you have A minor. Okay, so it's Okay, you can slide into two on the third string and then arpeggiate the chord and you play the bass at the very end. Okay, the chord comes with the open E string. Okay, so strings three, two, one, and the chord is at the very end. Now you have that A, B, C bass line again. Okay, so it's... Okay, and you're back to D minor. So it, you're on A minor. And then you have two on the fifth string, three, one on the second, and then you have C, okay, three on the fifth string with three on the second string, open E string, okay, so that's the line. And then A again. So it's A, B, C, A, and then D minor seven. No, it's D minor, sorry, it's D minor because you have three on the second string. Okay. The bass and then strings one, 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 two. And then you have G with one, three on the first string. Okay. And then you have okay, your first finger on the C bass, three on the fifth string, and you have three, five, zero on the first string. And because this is C major seven, you can play strings one, two, and three. And then you have this. It's F major seven with three on the second string when you start. So you have three on the second string, open first string, and then one on the second string. So you have to use your little finger right when you put on the chord. So it's... Okay, it's... Half diminished. And then you have one three again. Okay, you can play E7 again. Or you can play E7 sus4. Okay, so instead of three and one on strings two and three, you have three and two. Okay, instead of this, you have this okay three and two on strings two and three with the E bass so and then okay five three zero on the first string you can slide into the five you can pull off the notes and then you have E7 E7 again just three one on the second string or the whole chord so um, Okay, that's the move that we're going for, sus to major, okay, with the seventh right there, so. Chorus, okay, A minor, bass, chord, five, 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 second string, on five. And then you have uh, E minor with three and five. Okay, so it's strings one, two, and three, open with the sixth string, open with three and five on the first. Okay, so it's zero, three, A minor again, eight on the second string. Okay, so it's, and then, it's three, five, three, hammer on, pull off on the second string, five on the third, and then D9. Five, five, four, five on strings uh, two, three, four, and five. Okay, five, five, four, five. Okay. Okay, so it's. And then slide to seven on the fourth, five on the third, and then you have the. Um, 
the ninth chord again on eight, so it's F9. Eight, eight, seven, eight. It's the same. It's the same chord. Um, so, and then blues line, eight, seven, five. You can slide, pull it off. Okay. And then you have E sharp nine. Okay. So it's the same shape. Okay, but with the little finger up one fret. Okay, so if you had eight eight seven eight, you take it down to seven seven six seven, and the little finger just remains on eight on the second string. So you have eight seven six seven. Okay, so so it's and then okay, um, bend five. Um, bend uh, seven on the third string, or you, okay, or s even simpler, five bend it on the third string, seven seven on the fourth, okay, and the A bass. So, okay, or if you want, elaborate it, bend seven and then five on the third, okay, or. Now, the bridge. The bridge here is beautiful. Um, you have B minor 7, okay, instead of the minor 7 flat 5, you can put it on and just don't play the D string. Don't play the 4th. Okay, now it's B minor 7. There is no flat 5. Okay, you see the difference? So. Uh, second string three times and then one on the second string guess what e7 again okay this chord always leads to e7 this is what's called a two five one it's okay this leads into a minor b minor seven flat five e7 lead to a minor always so okay e7 and then one three on the second string a minor b minor seven Okay, springs two, three, and five. Remember, don't play the fourth. And then you have C, C major. Okay, three, one on the second string. And then B minor seven to E seven again. With that open E string at the end, zero, three on the first. And then you have this, okay? It's 5-5-5, five, 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 but it's not A minor. It's F major 7. You have 5-5-5 five, five, five with 3 on the 4th. And then you have 3 on the 1st string. And then you have E7. Okay, the 1st string and then 3 on the 2nd. Okay, so it's... Okay, so it's... And then... Okay. 3 pull off to 1 on the 2nd string, and then 2-2 two, two on the 3rd into A minor. You can also slide into the 3, okay, for extra bluesiness. And that's, uh, and then you play the solo, okay, and you can repeat the song, play the whole song, or finish at the end of the solo. So that's your arrangement. The tab is for free. Download it. The link is below in the description. And remember, waiting for you on lickandref.com is a free three-hour guitar workshop to free up your playing and help you uh, express and unleash your own personal creativity on this beautiful instrument um, your own way. So I will see you there. And in the meantime, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.